Right, so many of you have been telling me how you love these European UEFA kind of videos that I've been doing recently, so I've got a surprise for you today. So it's probably not actually much of a surprise that we've got another one of these UEFA European type videos. I did one of these about a month ago looking at Celtic's potential scenario in Europe next season. Some things have changed a little bit since then, some things haven't, things are clearer, lots of things still are pretty blurred, but I'm going to give you another video today. We're going to chat solely about the UEFA Champions League, that is the competition Celtic will be playing in next season, what kind of teams could we face, what kind of journey is ahead of us. The reason I want to do it now is that if you haven't noticed we're in the midst of an international break, that means that club football has stopped and will do so for about the next 10 days or so. That means that this is a perfect time to stop and take stock of what's happening around Europe, which teams are sitting where, who's likely to be potential opponents for us next season. And unlike last time when I did a video and then a day later we've got Brian from Peterhead talking about how Red Bull Salzburg are no longer potential opponents because they've just beaten Wacker Innsbruck in the Austrian title. Apologies if you are watching this and your name's Brian and you do live in Peterhead, by the way. No offence. But yeah, I'm going to give you a reminder of what Celtic face to get into the Champions League group stage next season and I'm going to kind of map out our hypothetical path of the kind of teams that we could be facing and stay tuned to the end of the video as well because we've got a bit of news about the following season's Champions League as well. So what do we know? Well, you will know that Celtic are second in the Scottish Premiership. We will finish second this season. We're 13 points ahead of Hibs at the moment, only 15 points still to play for. That means that one more win will secure second place. We can even do it with a draw against Hibs. This is all irrelevant. You know we're going to finish second. So what does that mean? Well, crucially, unlike recent years, it means that we will get to play in the Champions League next season for at least two matches. We'll go into the Champions League second qualifying round, which will be the first of three rounds we'll need to win to get to the group stage. Most crucially, unlike the last, what, nine years, we'll be going into the non-champions route, meaning that we'll play teams who finish second and third in similar nations to Scotland. This means that we'll have to win three consecutive two-legged qualifying round ties against teams who are also not champions of their countries. We're not going to have any KR Reykjaviks this season. Quite simply, and I will go into this more depth in the video, I think it's a very, very difficult task for Celtic to qualify for the group stage of the Champions League next season. In fact, I would say it's probably verging on practically impossible. So as I discussed in the video I did about a month ago, I think... UEFA comes up with these complicated names like they call the second qualifying round, the third qualifying round and so on. So I'm going to simplify it and we're just going to call it Hurdle 1, Hurdle 2 and Hurdle 3. And obviously if we win and get past, all three hurdles will be into the group stage of the Champions League. So what about Hurdle 1? Well, we'll be one of six clubs in this round and while the team that's going to finish second in Scotland is abundantly clear, the same can't be said for the other five nations that are providing a team into this round. First up in Holland, it will be probably PSV or AZ Alkmaar, but it could also be Vitesse or even Feyenoord. In Turkey, it's currently Galatasaray, but it could be Fenerbahce, Trabzonspor, or even the current leaders Bajiktas. In Austria, Red Bull Salzburg are clear in that league, so it will either be Rapid Vienna, Las Glins, or Sturm Graz. In Denmark, it could be Bronby, Michelin, Aarhus, or even our old foes Copenhagen. And finally, in the Czech Republic, we're looking at Sparta Prague, Jablonet, Slovako, Liberic or even Victoria Pilsen. So will we be seeded in this hurdle one? Well, again, it's practically impossible to know until you know the teams that are going to make up the round, but I've done a bit of digging and I am kind of 80% sure that Celtic will be seeded in this round. A lot would have to go against us for us not to be seeded. The reason I say that is that in all those teams that I just mentioned as potential opponents, the only two that currently have a higher coefficient points rating than our total of 34 are Bejiktas and they are most likely to win the Turkish League and therefore qualify automatically and also Copenhagen who are currently fourth and they are eight points adrift of second place in Denmark. 
So basically it would take a pretty unlikely and unlucky set of results from our point of view for us not to be seeded in this hurdle one. Let's take a look at what this round could look like then. As I say, six teams. We would currently be the top seeded side with PSV and Sparta Prague also seeded. The unseeded sides that we could face are Galatasaray, Rapid Vienna and Mietjeland. So some potential tough ties, certainly a step up from previous years and even teams that we've lost to the likes of Cluj and Ferenc Varos, that would certainly be a step up. I'll say this on so many occasions in this video and I can't emphasise it enough, this is just an idea of the kind of teams we could face. So much could change between now and the end of the season in other domestic leagues and even beyond that there's loads of other things that can complicate matters. But it's just to give you an idea. So say we and the other two seeded sides from that hypothetical round, which are PSV and our old buddies in Czech Republic, Sparta, Prague, say we were all to make it through that round, how would the next qualifying round look? And again, would Celtic be seeded? Well, in this hugely hypothetical look now, this is what it would look like. The seeded sides in this hurdle two would be Shakhtar Donetsk, Lyon, Benfica and Celtic and the unseeded sides PSV, Spartak Moscow, Sparta Prague and Antwerp. So again, so hard to tell at this early stage, the smallest thing can tip the balance onto whether Celtic would be seeded or not. But having taken a, a general look at some of the other nations in Europe, the likes of Belgium, who are quite a strong footballing nation at the moment, both internationally and in terms of their club sides, a good example is that country, only Club Bruges are ahead of us in the coefficient rankings and they are well clear at the top of their league. So the chances are is whoever finishes second in Belgium, we would be ranked ahead of them in coefficients and therefore more likely to be a seeded side. Obviously when you get to the final qualifying round, you're looking at the teams from France and Portugal and Ukraine and it's looking less likely that we would be seeded. In fact, we almost certainly wouldn't be seeded Celtic would probably be looking at having to beat a Lyon or a Benfica or a Shakhtar Donetsk over two legs to get to the group stage of the Champions League. That, in a nutshell, is what is facing us in the summer if we want to get to the group stage. Right, that's a bit of fun. Let's just have a wee look at the general kind of path that faces Celtic to get to the group stage. This is what we've already talked about on the video, but just in one nice, easy screen there, let's just take a look at what faces us. So remember, we'd almost certainly be seeded for the first of the three rounds. The second one, I think, we're about 60% chance of being seeded. And the final one will almost certainly not be seeded. And as I teased at the start of the video, it is worth pointing out at this stage that the really strong performances from Scottish teams across the board in the last five years have meant that the winners of the Scottish Premiership next season will almost certainly go straight into the group stage of the Champions League. This isn't completely certain because it still depends on the winners of next season's Champions League already having qualified from their league position. But I think Chelsea were the last team who didn't do that back in 2012 or whenever it was that they won the Champions League. So I'd say it's pretty much a guarantee that the winner of next season's Scottish Premiership will be playing Champions League group stage football the following season. So pretty good time to get your house into order, Celtic, eh?